For some, the road to retirement can be a long and winding one. Today, nearly half of Americans change their initial retirement plans throughout the course of their life. That's according to TD Ameritrade's new study on this. And joining us now to discuss is Daryl Luber, Senior Retirement Manager at TD Ameritrade. Good to see you. Morning. Lots of great stuff in here re regarding retirement. I'm curious why people are changing up their retirement plans and how often are they doing this? Well, thank you for having me to talk about our road to retirement, the TD Ameritrade Road to Retirement survey. And what we're seeing is that people are you, they're, they have a plan, but they're not necessarily saving enough, right? We're seeing that that shift, those that have saved $100,000 or more start shifting as they head into their 60s. So what they're doing is they're shifting their plans you know, to make sure that they've got enough and that they've got enough to last throughout their entire lifetime. You can't plan for the average lifespan anymore. You've got to plan for the longest lifespan possible. People are living a lot longer these days. They need to make sure that that road to retirement, it might be a little bit winding, but they need to make sure that they achieve their ultimate end goals. And in the study, 81% are shifting their financial strategy because they're they're having to, they're, they expect to live longer. What do those shifts looks like, look like? Where are they going? Stocks, bonds, CDs? Well, it depends on your time horizon and your risk tolerance. You need to have a plan, and as long as you stick to that plan, review that plan annually to make sure that you're hitting your goals. Um, it depends on where you want to, you know, where you want to be and what your your ultimate goals are but it could be stocks it could be mutual funds we're seeing ETFs all of those are, are you know are things that people are looking at I was days. surprised to see politics factoring into people's retirement plans I don't know if that's such a great idea but what what are they saying there I think it's it, it you know as the market shift uh, as people start looking at their you know they're not looking so much at the politics of it they're looking if they've got a plan and they're sticking to it that's what their plan is for the future one uh, red flag or siren, 50% uh, of those in their 40s have withdrawn from their retirement accounts. Major red flag. Yeah. What are they doing? Right. They're, you know, people are looking to buy houses or you know, they've got to support their kids through college. But the most important thing, one of the most important things is to have an emergency fund to make sure that you can cover those you know, everyday expenses that may pop up. You, you know, try and limit at, at, you know, or reduce the amount that you're moving from your retirement accounts. You know, in making sure that you're saving enough, making sure that you're paying down any NOD mortgage debt, making sure that you've got enough saved in your retirement and your emergency savings funds. What about um, in terms of when people are hoping to retire? What age are they hoping to retire? Do they feel like they have enough saved? Again, it depends. Everybody's got a different um, viewpoint on when they want to retire. Uh, retirement, I we believe retirement is the next stage in your life. Um, so some people may want to continue working. That's what they enjoy doing in retirement. Others may want to you know, go off and travel or play golf or do other things. So it really depends on how much you've saved. And if you've got that plan in place and making sure that you've got enough saved, then it really would depend on what your ultimate end goal is. It's yeah. all under my bed, Dara. It's all under <laughs> my bed. According to the survey, you might want to diversify a little bit there, but yeah. um, according to the survey, though, it looks like the age 67 is sort of the new age now people are looking to retire at. So a lot of people say they're going to have to work, though, well into their, into their 70s or 80s. Yeah. All right, Dara Luber, great stuff. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.